So fishermen have been selling fish off their boats in San Diego for generations. Now they could have their own fish market, similar to Pike Place Fish Market in Seattle. You know the one. Tanya's reporter Natasha Zavez is live near Seaport Village. Natasha, for local fishermen trying to move to dry land, there's a catch. Well, Virginia, for years, the fishermen who sell near here have been caught up in red tape. But just imagine that every Saturday, this entire pier would just be filled with fresh seafood. We want to give you some perspective for where we are. You see that big 41? That's the Midway. Right over here, that's our tuna fleet. The idea is that every Saturday, they'd be able to come up right here and dock uh, to sell their seafood. They're hoping that this is going to revitalize a dwindling industry here in San Diego. The best time of, of a fisherman's life is heading home when you have a back deck filled with sea urchins and you think you're a rich man. Then you sell it to a processor and <laughs> reality comes in. Peter Holme has been catching sea urchins for 44 years. I don't see doing anything else. I, I, uh, I was a civil engineer in 1970 and quit to go fishing for two years. Never went back. He and other fishermen here will tell you the fishing industry is hurting here. In 1986, there were close to 300 commercial fishermen in San Diego. Now that number is closer to 130. I mean, we were at one point the, the tuna capital of the, of the world, and uh, this is an opportunity to bring back some of that. Supervisor Greg Cox heard their plight. He wants to make things easier for them while revitalizing the waterfront. Cox has helped them obtain the permits they need to set up a market every Saturday for a year. The new market would be inspired by the famous Pike Place Fish Market in Seattle. A recent Scripps Institution of Oceanography study shows there's certainly demand. Most San Diegans are willing to drive 15 to 30 minutes to buy directly from a fisherman, and they're willing to pay more for it, especially for fish like yellowtail and bluefin tuna. I'm 73 years old. I only got 25 years left, and I have to retire, So, because nobody should fish past 100. Isn't Peter just a fisherman's fisherman? Well, they have the permits they need to sell here every Saturday for a year. On July 29th, Supervisor Cox will propose a more permanent solution. Fishermen plan to have all of this open here by August 2nd. We're live in Seaport Village. I'm Natasha Zubas, 10 News. Natasha, I think fishermen like that should keep on going after 100 and be able to sell their fish too. <laughs> Natasha, thanks.